OK, so let's talk about another very important concept of function in Tableau that is called parameter. And also sometimes we always use parameter connected with action. Uh, so we already see that how we can create parameters uh, and also give user to control the parameter. So parameters are just placeholders whose values can be controlled by the users, either through um, the parameter controls or through the actions. <clears throat> so parameters are only useful when they are incorporated into something like filters, set, reference lines, or the calculated fields. Okay, so to combine those parameter and the action together, so the process is that we define the parameter, we apply the parameter to an object, and we define action that will impact the parameter value. So this is another example that, for example, I want to show the um, average price of the selected uh, markers. So when I select those points, I want just see the average price for those selected markers. So that action is called select. So if I click select, and that is action, and that action will change the values and will pass the value to the parameters. And those parameters will be uh, passed to this uh, reference line. OK, so that is how we one example that use actions and also parameters. So let's see an example. OK, so let's create it a new scat plot uh, again, price and also weight and by the IDs. Okay, uh, so let's first create a new parameter. Uh, let's call it uh, price. Okay, and we call it float, and it doesn't matter what the current value is. Okay, so that's the price. And now let's add a reference line. Okay, uh, so for the price. And here we want to use the value from the price parameter. And the label will be the value. OK. So now we have this um, a reference line that is showing the value of this parameter. OK, so now I want to use user to control this parameter so that if they select some points, I want to see the average price. OK. To do that, I need to go to the worksheet and let's define an action. So right now there's no any action, so let's add a new action. And you can see we can change the value of the parameter. We can also change the value of the value of the set and we can do something else. Okay, so let's just change the parameter. And make sure that we are looking at the sheet of our current sheet, and the action is change price and you can define action like uh, so here I will just use a select the parameter will be the price the value that I want to keep is uh, from the sum of the price I want to show the average okay so because I, I you you can only use the, the the field that is in the current view so here I want to use price okay and say click double OK. So now if I select those points, you can see and now I'm looking at the average price of those selected points. OK, so that is very, very convenient. OK, so that is how we use parameter, action, and also reference line together. OK, so since we are talking about reference lines, so let's look at what kind of reference lines or trend lines we can have. So trend lines can provide important insight into the analysis and the result is always regression models and those results can be exported. Or we also have the other type of trend lines, reference lines. For example, we have drop lines, constant lines, reference lines, and also reference band. And also we have a distri distribution band. The values on the lines can be customized. Okay, 
So here, for example, uh, we have a constant line, we have a, a trend line, and also we have this average line, and the value you can see can also be customized. OK, so let's say an example of that in our data. Uh, so here, let's say we drag out this line that connects with parameters. Uh, that's a first at a trend line. So the trend line can be linear, or you can use the other different type of the models. OK, and you can see you can have the p-values, r-squared, etc. Uh, we can also edit this trend line. So for example, if you want to show the confidence band, you can do that. You can also have the option to force y-intercept to 0. OK. Uh, we can also export the result uh, of these regression models. OK, so if you have regression models and you can go to worksheet, and you can export the data that from the current view. OK, and by default, that's only that will be exported into this access uh, database. Uh, so if you are interested, you can try that. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, we can also add constant lines or average lines, etc. So for example, average line. So I want to show the average weight. OK, and if you select different um, points average weight will also be updated. Okay. And we can also add a constant line. Okay, as a reference. So for example, I want to put that constant line to be one because you can see we have a lot of diamonds that price increase when the weight dramatically when the weight is above one. Okay, so I want to highlight that one. Uh, we can also add uh, average lines um, on the price. So for example, I want to add average line to the price. And next, if I select Edit, we can customize the labels. OK, uh, so for example, here I want to see that the uh, average okay, price is and now I fill in value. OK, so now you can see the average price is this. OK, so we can customize the labels. Uh, you can also try the other like distribution band, etc. So for example, if I see the distrib dis distribution band for the price, and you can see here, you can see um, what is the values, quantile or percentile, etc. OK, so that will be a distrib distribution band. OK, uh, let's drag those out. OK, so those are the reference lines, trend lines, etc. Another cool feature is that we can also create cluster. OK, so that is using a key mean cluster analysis. Uh, so if you are interested in more about the, the key means, you can, uh, we do have a intro to machine learning class next semester. So for example, if I drag that one to the clusters, you can see based on the price and also the weight, you can define how many clusters do you want to have. So see, I want three. OK, uh, let, uh, you can see for each cluster, they created a, a trend line. So let's add it to the trend line a little bit. So let's say I don't want to create trend lines per color. OK, so now you can see we have three clusters. So this group, oops, um, so this group, we are, the red group will be the diamonds that are expensive and also bigger. And this group, the yellow group, will be the group that where the diamonds are cheaper and also smaller. OK, so that is we can create in clusters in this um, visual analytics. OK, so finally, I want to introduce two very cool um, functions. One is called explain the data. So explain the data will automatically provide AR driven explanations for the value of the data point with a single click. OK, and we will see that immediately. Ask data. This is available on uh, Tableau online. OK. Uh, so that will allow you to ask questions, okay? And based on the questions, they can provide create visualizations 
to answer your questions. So this is an example of using explain data in Tableau desktop and also Tableau online. And this is an example of using ask data, which is only available on Tableau online so that you can ask a question and they can provide answer for you. OK, so let's go back to our data. Um, let's say we create a new visualization. Here we are looking at clarity and also price. OK, uh, let's say we look at the average price. OK, remember we said that IF has the highest level of the clarity, but why the price is the why the average price is the lowest. So I am curious about this part. So I click this data point and you can see this bubble. So that is explain the data. So now if I click that. So Tableau will use based on existing uh, data set will try to explain so that you can see the average price is lower than expected for this IF. And the possible explanations is that, first of all, it's because of raters. You can see IGI, OK, and give most of the price for the IF diamonds than the other raters. And we can see IGI, on average, gave lower price. OK, so that because that is why possible explanation is because the reader tend to give lower price and the reader has rated a lot of IF diamonds. The second explanation is, is because of size. And we can see that for most of the IF diamond, they are smaller diamonds. Okay. And we know that size is a very important um, feature of the price because most IF diamonds are small, so that, that's why they have lower price. OK, explain it data is not the perfect solution, but can serve as a start point that for you to try to explore the data later. And you can also expand those one as a, as a new chart and which you can explore further. And once, once you have your workbook, you can, all, you can go to server, OK, and you can sign in to the ArcGIS online and you can publish your data source or you can publish your workbook. OK, uh, so we will try that one in the lab. So I think I gave you the permission to publish workbook, but I don't give you permission to publish the, the data source because we are using the same data source. OK, so now let's see how that looks like on Tableau online. So here this is the Tableau online and we do have the license of Tableau Online, so each of you should have received email from Tableau Online, and you should have a password account being set up. So here I'm logging with my um, account, and I sign in to Tableau Online. And uh, you should be assigned to one project. So if you go to Explore, for example, if you are assigned to the I Group One, and you can see here we do have this uh, diamond data. OK, where you can create a new workbook. OK, so this is a similar interface as Tableau desktop, where you can create visualizations online and you can use the data that uh, are available or you can just upload your own data. Or you can connect data from different resources like data warehouse, databases, etc. Um, and you can see they have the similar interface, uh, so they are slightly they will be slightly different. So for example, uh, you cannot use clusterings on Tableau online, etc. OK, so that is um, Tableau online. So here, when I go to Tableau online and let's click the diamond data set, that is exactly the same data that we used in lab one. And here you can see this is the ask data. So here you can type your questions that uh, to answer to ask data from Tableau Online. So for example, on which reader uh, give highest price? OK, so now they have some possible answers. OK, so you can see by readers with high price 
or maximum price by reiter or sum of the price by reiter. So let's say I want top reiter by the sum of the price. Okay, and if I click that, so okay, and now I have a result that is GIA. Okay, GIA has the highest sum of the price. And we can also ask the other questions, like I want to see that the um, average weight per color. Okay, if I ask that one, and they can create this one, or followers, okay? And I can adjust this one, so sort by price. Okay, so sort clarity in descending by sum of the price. So let's see that work. Okay, it worked. Okay, so that is ask color. So basically, so Tableau online will try to understand your questions and they will provide the answers by creating a visualization.